Hey church, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Don't forget, put your first and last name, city and state from which you are commenting today in the comments below. And you could win a brand new copy of my newest devotional Proverbs, A Strong Man is Wise. 30 days in the book of Proverbs that I think will bless your life with all kinds of wisdom. Do that right now. Write your first and last name, city and state below. With that, we're going to be in John chapter 16. I'm going to read verse 25 for you today. Here's what Jesus says. He says, I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures of speech, but will tell you plainly about the Father. So Jesus here is changing up the conversation a little bit. If we turn back to the gospel, uh, chapter 10, verse 6, we learn that Jesus spoke intentionally in a cryptic nature at times. And he did this because well, he understood that the disciples and his opposition could not handle the truth. <laughs> they could not handle the whole truth about him before critical events occurred. And Jesus wanted to make sure those critical events occurred. So if we go back in the gospel and we read just a few of these cryptic statements, we'll see what Jesus knew that they couldn't handle. All right, so here are three today. The first is John chapter 10, verses 1 through 18. In this moment, Jesus told the story of the good shepherd. He described himself as a good shepherd, his people as a sheep, and then he described the self-righteous, indignant religious leaders and teachers as thieves and robbers, which is something that he kind of didn't want to get out of control at this moment. Number two, John chapter 13, verses 1 through 20, which is the instance of the foot washing. What does Jesus do? Well, he takes off his clothes. He puts he, over his outer garment. He wraps a towel and he washes all of the disciples' feet. Why does he do this? He does it in a cryptic nature to describe his act of service on the cross to those who believe and even those who are rejecting him. It's the ultimate act of service to wash the feet of others and then gave us an object lesson and told us to do the same. Then in John chapter 15, verses 1 through 17, we read uh, the, the story or the parable of the vine and the branches. And Jesus uses this analogy to call them to abide in his teaching and to keep his commandments. Now, each one of these teachings had a cryptic nature to them because there were certain things at that moment that he knew people would only understand after his death and resurrection, which tells us exactly why Jesus spoke in a cryptic nature. Here's the reason. He didn't want anyone getting in the way of his mission. This includes believers or non-believers. He knew that sometimes believers would push him too hard or force him to retract his statements or that non-believers would advance his death too quickly, keeping them from really understanding the teaching that he still had to do. So here are two thoughts that crossed my mind as I read this statement about Jesus here. First, there is nothing as resolved and determined as a man on a mission from God. No one and nothing can stop that man. He will work to preserve and protect that mission so that God's message can be heard. Second, as that man sees the culmination of this mission, his message always becomes more urgent and clear, just like Jesus just like Jesus. Fellas, we are no different. We are called to live in the same manner as Jesus does here. As messengers of his mission, we should speak and live with the same intention in our life. We should discern when to be a little cryptic and then when to be more plain. And the mission requires both. But over time, over time, the message through you should become more focus, more focus, get clear, and our commitment should increase and become more resolved. So today, challenge yourself to do the same. Identify the message that God has given you. Write it out if need be. Then ask the Spirit for clarity and courage to communicate and carry it out. And then go speak it and live it. But live it out with conviction and let nothing deter you. Your mission, God's mission through you, awaits, fellow. It awaits. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.